Today, we're solving a popular coding problem, palindrome number. This problem is frequently seen in coding interviews and helps strengthen our understanding of number manipulation. Given an integer, we need to return true if it is a palindrome and false otherwise. Here are a few examples to make this clear. If the input is 121, the output is true because 121 reads the same from left to right and right to left. If the input is negative 121, the output is false. When reversed, it becomes 121 negative, which is not the same. And for 10, the output is false because 10 reversed becomes 01. We can solve this problem in two approaches. The string conversion approach, we can turn the number into a string, reverse it, and check if it's the same as the original. We return the string of x equal to the reverse of the string of x. It returns true if it's palindrome else false. While this method is quick and easy, it's not ideal for interview settings. Now let's explore a solution using mathematical reversal where we avoid converting the number to a string. First, we handle edge cases. If the number is negative or ends with zero and is not zero, it's not a palindrome. A variable called reversed half to store the reversed digits. In a loop, we keep reversing the last digits of x and building reversed octal half. We stop when x is smaller or equal to reversed half. Add the last digit of x to the reversed half. Remove the last digit from x. Finally, we check if x is equal to reversed half. In some cases, when the number has an odd number of digits, reversed half will be one digit longer. So we also check if x equals reversed half divided by 10, which removes the extra middle digit. This code works perfectly and satisfies the interviewer. 